Like with all Meat Loaf's hits, this was written by the pianist Jim Steinman. He said he wrote this to be the ultimate motorcycle crash song. The lyrics refer to a rider being thrown off of his bike in a wreck and his organs exposed. Okay then. Part of the lyrics. And the last thing I see is my heart still beating. Breaking out of my body and flying away like a bat out of hell. Wow, folks. Well, meatloaf coming up. Don't go anywhere. Okay, Meatloaf, I, I've heard of the name, okay? And uh, I've heard, uh, I, don't, I don't think, uh, not to sound insensitive, but I don't think they have too many, the band has too many hit songs. Uh, I know that I have heard the song, uh, what is the name of that? I Would Do Anything For Love. Uh, I've heard that numerous times on Pandora, so I have heard that song by Meatloaf, but I never really took the time you know I'm probably gonna get the smackdown now from all you uh, meatloaf fans out there uh, but you know what's it, it's okay it, it's fine I can take it um, maybe if I did take more time and really study and and research and get to know this band I would probably have more fond appreciation for them uh, but hey that's why I'm on this musical journey and you know what it's better late than never okay so that's what we're doing now I know it's late in the game but hey better late than never and and by the way what's with the haunting look on those backup vocalists face I mean it's really whoo it started out all Halloween like you know <laughs> at night with the motorcycles and everything uh, so I'm just getting that Halloween vibe going on <laughs> On down in the tunnel with a deadly horizon No, I swear I saw a young boy down in the cover He was starting to foam in the heat Oh, baby, you're the only thing in this whole world That's pure and good and right And wherever you are and wherever you go There's always going to be some light But I gotta get out, I gotta pick it up now We gotta make the most of our one night together When it's over, you know We'll both be so alone Okay, I, I, I'm. This is my first time, <laughs> first reaction, and honestly, I I wasn't even sure like where to pause it because y you never know what's coming next. You know, it, it it's really fast paced and then the music slows way down. You know, and he's he's trying to convey a message to you. It's so 
uh, what's the word for it? So unpredictable. <laughs> I, I didn't even know where to pause it. Hopefully it's in a okay place. You know, I was reading somewhere where they they said that Meatloaf, well, the the main uh, lead singer here, he was known for his eccentric nature. And I, I can see that coming out, you know, being displayed here in this performance. But yeah, he, he was tr he's trying to signify about an actual motorcycle incident, just a, a massacre that took place. I don't know if he experienced that in his real life where he had, um, he had witnessed something like that or he thought it would just be cool to write a song about it. I have no idea, folks. You guys going to have to help me out in the comments section with this one. Really seriously help me out. Uh, just fill me in. Uh, band members' names. Fill me in on the story behind this song. I did a little bit of research, but maybe you guys know more than what I, you know, looked up. So help me out on your take and your interpretation of this song. What am I witnessing right now? What are my eyes seeing right now? This is a whole lot to take in. You know, you you know who you are that made this request. You wanted to see You wanted to see me all out of sorts, didn't you? Some other viewers did this with with me as well on on other music. Uh just wanted me to react to something totally different and strange. They probably figured I had never heard something like it before, and so they wanted to see my out-of-sorts reaction. Well, you succeeded. You succeeded. What else can I say? I'm all out of sorts. And now that I'm reacted to it, I'm going to have to listen to this again and really try to grasp what, what, what I'm looking at. So that's good and good and right And wherever you are and wherever you go There's always gonna be some light But I gotta get out, I gotta break it out now Before the final cracker is gone So we gotta make the most of our one night together When it's over you go, we'll both be so Before the gates of heaven, I'll come crawling on back to you.
I gotta say, folks, man, I'm loving the instrumentality that the the just they're just gung ho. Uh, you know, the even the piano is just going to town. You know, the electric guitars, the drums, everything is just. It's definitely a bat out of hell, man. It's it's just like it's going 200 miles an hour. It's amazing the the raw talent that's in this band here. The backup vocalist, everything is is, is top notch. I I'm I'm amazed. I'm I'm actually stunned, folks. I I didn't think I would like it. Honestly, I'm gonna be a hundred percent real with you guys. I didn't think that I would enjoy this. But I'm amazed. I'm simply amazed. I mean, I'm still taken back by it. I mean, I'm still it's still shocking. You know, I'm still going to have to put all the pieces together. And hopefully with you guys' help. But as far as music-wise, the originality, the talent here, it's amazing. I'm astonished, really, folks. I have to say, I'm astonished. Meatloaf. Who knew? <laughs> How old is the man now? He's been around for a long time. He's got to be at least in his late 60s or early 70s, somewhere around there. He's been around since, since oh my gosh. <laughs> Breaking out of my body and flying 